Okay, well, what's what's um what's this fight we've been like for you, right? Like this is I feel like you're almost getting more attention now than you did when you fought for the title. I mean, what's what's this like? A lot of work, brother. Uh, my schedule was 9 a.m. today all the way to 5, so I got a lot of things to do. Busy, but I'm I'm not a complainer, so it's okay for me. Uh, I think we got a lot of eyes on this fight. Uh, this guy is very tough, but <clears throat> we're going to test, right? We're going to see if that guy is real or not. And uh, I'm here. I'm the guy to, to, to test this guy, to stop the, the, the hype train, so... I like it, you know. I'm here in this position. I ask to be here, and uh, I want to. I want to fight the best guys. If he's the one of that, if he's that beast, that's the guy that I want to fight. Yeah. I mean, you've been around this game for a long time. At this point, you've seen people come into the sport, get hyped. But I mean, what do you make of this? Because it feels like people are just ready to write you off and be like, "You're just the next victim." You know, I mean, is that bizarre to you, or do you take offense to that? I don't mind. I like to be the underdog. I beat the underdog in what my last maybe five, six fights. So. To be honest, it, it doesn't matter, like, right? It doesn't matter what people think about you. It matters what you think about you. So I don't mind. So I know me. I'm not counting me off, brother. I'm, I'm coming and I'm going to beat this guy. And uh, Saturday after five, I'll we'll be here talking to you guys. But uh, it doesn't matter. It matters what I think, what my team thinks, what my family thinks. They all believe in me. They always they all support me. So that's the ones that count, you know, the the. Not, not offense to you guys, but the media, the fans, the, that doesn't matter, you know. When you take away all the hype and the reputation, just look at him technically speaking, what is it about his grappling game that you see that's made it so effective? Nothing special. I think uh, his wrestling is very good. His control and ground and pound is good. And the fact that he's very long, he helps you. So he, then he gets good grips, good control, knows where to put away. Very technical. Uh, hits hard. Uh, but the opponents didn't help as well too. Those guys don't know how to get up. Don't, the other one don't know how to wrestle. I don't. I don't even know. I gotta look at twice. His first two UFC opponents. Do you know their name? Anyone? No one knows. So those guys, for sure, they're pretty tough to be in the UFC. But they not Gilbert Burns. They not. They not on the top of this division. So I, all the respect. Sorry for you if you were one of these guys, no offense, but I'm at the top of the division. You know, I give these guys the opportunity. I want to fight him because I believe he's very good. I don't see a monster. You know, I don't see, I see a human being confident, a little bit cocky, undefeated, thinking he's invincible, untouchable, but we shall see. We shall see Saturday. Like I said, you're clearly the most decorated person that he's fought so far. Do you think he'll be as aggressive as he has been in those other fights, knowing what's at stake here? Do you think he even knows, I, I got to take this one a little bit differently? To be honest, I don't know. I'm ready. We, I, I have my strategy either way. I do think he's a fast starter, and so, I, so am I. I don't think he's going to change that as much. I, I'm still not sure if he's going to wrestle right away. I hope so. I don't I'm not sure, but he, his tendency is to strike more when he see another grappler is to strike. And he got heavy hands. He kind of th that's the thing when two grapplers, two wrestlers go to a fight. We're not uh, the, talking as a grappler. We like I know the guy doesn't have a better uh, striking than me, so we both get comfortable. That's why sometimes when two grapplers, two strike, two wrestle or grappler go to a fight they they stand they finish with the end up being a stand-up war because of that because oh that guy doesn't have a bad strike in me so both guys have the same mentality sometimes he comes with that mentality but i don't know you gotta ask him and let me know i think he's gonna wrestle <laughs> we'll get the answer to you uh, and i guess last thing for me i mean obviously people are saying if he wins he fights for the title uh, do you have a, a plan in mind of what you should deserve? I mean, you, like you said, you're one of the few guys that put your hands in the air and said, give me this guy that you guys all say is a killer. Do you know what that should des you know, earn you or what you should deserve after this? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I think everything depends about the performance. If I go out there and get a finish, I believe I earn it. In, in, bro, no <laughs> no sad stories. You know, if, if I don't, I'll fight another guy. Like, I'm not thinking too much ahead okay because the scenario is so big Kamaru gonna fight Leon 
he, he, I think he's gonna win, but he might lose. Vicente is fighting Belal. I do believe Vicente is gonna win. So it, it, it all depends, you know. Maybe tomorrow, maybe that fight goes to September. Maybe if he lost, it gotta be a trilogy. So I'm not thinking too much ahead. You know, I have a big what well, Russian problem in front of me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm never looking past this guy. I think he's a very tough, and I'm respecting that. Gilbert over here. Do you feel a chip on your shoulder heading into this fight because of how people are seemingly viewing this one? The betting lines, the obviously the fans are going one way. You're flying under the radar here, but do you feel like you're fighting with the chip on your shoulder, or is, the, or is this just any kind of any other fight for you? It's always a pressure going through the fight. Always, if they say, "Oh no, I'm not feeling pressure," they they liar, they lie. It's always a pressure. I don't have. I don't think I have a, a, a chip on my shoulder because freaking. The, the odds are saying that he's going to win. Everyone's saying he's going to win. He's all that monster. He, he's, to be honest, he's a little bit less. He's still pressure. I'm not going to say no. He's, but it's a little bit less pressure because that guy's the hype train. He's supposed to win and fight at the sun. Yeah. So he's a little bit less pressure. He's still pressure. I'm not going to say, oh, no. He's still pressure, but kind of a little bit less pressure. is on this guy. I'm giving him the opportunity. I'm the number two. He got to come and take it. When Hamza was in here earlier, we asked him if this was the toughest fight of his career, and he said no, and then he named another opponent that he felt was tougher than you. Where does he rank on paper in terms of toughest matchups to prepare for? Because you fought the current champion, a guy many consider to be the best pound-for-pound fighter on the planet right now. You fought former title challengers. You fought former champions on the way up here. Where does Shamayev rank in terms of your toughest opponents on paper? He's right there, top five, you know. I don't think he's number one. I think Kamar proved many times he's the number one. And, uh, yeah, got a couple couple other tough guys. Steven Thompson, Maya in Brazil, you know. I think he's there, top five of my tough opponents. But we shall see, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer that Saturday after the fight. And then last thing for me, when... You come back here and you're talking to us and we're, at least that's what you're saying is going to happen on Saturday night. What's the headline going to read at the end of the fight? Is it just going to be Gilbert Burns beats Hamza Chimaev or is it going to be Gilbert Burns crushes Hamza Chimaev? Like what is the headline going to read across the globe after Saturday? I brother, I don't know. I wish I knew, but we shall see. I think I'm going to get a finish with this guy, but... I don't know, he's very tough, so I'm, I'm kind of respecting that. But I do believe the way we both fight, I'm going to get a finish. Durinho, uh, real quick. Um, Hamza came up here and he said that you weren't his uh, toughest opponent that he's had. But, I mean, if you look at the numbers, obviously you're the most decorated. You're the one that has achieved the most. Um, what, what do you make of that? Do you feel like that's just part of the media, part of the talk? Or, or what do you make of, of those comments? Merry Christmas for this guy. It is what it is. Whatever he want to say, that's it. Yeah. And uh, we we took out that uh, workout video um, on MMA Junkie, and it blew up, and it received a, a crazy response. Just wondering, have people reached out to you? Because people were shocked that you were able to do that kind of work. Shit! Uh, last Saturday I had another one, and then was I do believe if I did a lot better, but. Uh, those guys at IAGP, they did a great job making me ready. All the guys at Sam Ford, I was was a very hard training. A lot of people have been talking about that, but overall it was a very tough camp. Like because I did a couple five rounds. I did, I did two, I did three five rounds camp. One was canceled in, in the first one in Abu Dhabi. Uh, then I had another. I had one with Tyron Woodley and one with Kamaro. They were, those are freaking tough uh, training camps too. But this one, brother, this one was hard, bro. Because all the things, so everybody was pushing me hard, extra, giving me rounds, freaking going to sparring, shark tank. This guy one minute, then another guy one minute, then another guy. So I believe I'm, I'm in a very good shape right now. But yeah, that that training was, was tough, bro. Yeah, Glad those are behind you now and, and only the fight is ahead. Yeah, it's still, you know, I'm, I've been in, only in the UFC for eight years. So I've been, I hate to say I'm a veteran because it sounds that I'm getting old, but I'm being a veteran in that game. And uh, be, uh, 
you know, being a lot of training camps, a lot of things, and uh, I'm kind of living by the day, you know, it's not all everything is done, no, so you're going to have a good session tonight, maybe adjustment got to be made, maybe, I hope not, but if it does, I'm going to adjust, tomorrow still press conference, and then starting the weight cuts, Friday, make the weight, face off, ceremonial weight in, Saturday still do a little shake off, so it's never done, it's just done with never the heifer say, hey, stop. Then it's gonna be done, but it's still, it's still a lot of work to be done until Saturday night. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Gilbert, right here in the front. Uh, just in terms of your relationship with Kamaru Usman, what was it like getting back to training with him after fighting him the first time? Yet? Was it a little bit awkward at first? No, not at all. To be honest, uh, I took that loss like a man, you know, like, like he beats me, so. You know, I don't have an, any hard feelings, so the fight was fair and square. So he beat me, and uh, I learned a very <laughs> couple lessons on that fight. And uh, he approached me and Coach Henry like uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, saying that he's gonna be he's gonna be in Florida. I mean, he lives in Florida. His daughter is in there, and then he. He said, oh, can I come and train with you guys because I'm going to stay here? And then I say, of course. And uh, then they start training. And then he was doing a couple early sessions and was training with the group a little bit. He's still recovering from his right hand. And uh, he was there a couple of my points. And then he, he, he couldn't hold, you know. He would just look at me sparring and then he come, hey, try this, do that, this guy. He don't do these, you know, and then that's come out, that's me, you know. If I think it was the opposite, I would do the same. Hey, watch out with these, look for that. So he did that couple of my last maybe, I think, three or four sparring sessions. He was there a couple of days looking at me and giving a couple of advice. And, uh, and we have a good relationship. Like, we went to a competition, I lost, but I don't, it's not personal. Even with Hamza, he's saying all that stuff is not personal, brother. We're going to fight. And I, at the end of the day, a lot of media, a lot of things will will, will be said. But bro, we're gonna hit each other. We're gonna we're gonna we're going to a fist fight. He like y'all. Oh, he said this and that, brother. He can say whatever he wants. All right, thanks, Gilbert. Yep. That's it. Yep. Thank you, guys.